Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will guide you through the process of converting your Wix website into an Android app in 2023. Converting your Wix website into an Android app can provide additional engagement and convenience for your users. So, make sure to stick by, let's dive right into it and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, let's start by, or before we begin even, it's important to understand that converting a Wix website into an Android app involves utilizing tools and frameworks that can wrap your website as a native application. Of course, this process does not involve rewriting your website's code from scratch, but rather packaging it in a way that can be installed and run out uh, Android devices. So, the first step, of course, is to choose an app development framework that supports converting websites into Android apps. There are various frameworks available, such as Apache Con Cordova or PhoneGap, React Native, or Flutter. Each framework has its own set of features and requirements, so choose the one that best suits your needs and familiarize yourself with the coding languages. And of course, once you choose your preferred app development, you can go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use Bra using Brave. And of course, in your case, you can use any other preferred browser that you want. Now, you will need to set up your development environment. And this typically involves installing the required software development kits, which is SDKs, and tools for Android app development. You can follow the documentation and guidelines provided by the chosen framework to ensure a smooth setup process. Let's just say as an example, I'm just going to use the Flutter one. So simply, I'm just going to go to this URL section and simply type F uh, or Flutter directly. Flutter.dev and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or main screen of Flutter. As you can see, build apps that uh, of any screen. So you can click on get started. And as you can see here, selects the operating system on which you are installing, uh, installing Flutter. So, for example, we can choose Windows uh, for us that we have. And of course, you will have to go and look for the system requirements and get it on your PC. And of course, you will have to go and follow all these instructions here. So, with the development environments set up, it's time to convert and customize your app. Most frameworks provide commands or plugins that allow you to package your Wix website as a native Android app. You may need to configure the app name, icon, and other settings to match your branding and preferences. You can even consult framework documentation for specific instructions on how to convert and customize your app. Then, of course, you will have to go and test because testing is a crucial step in the app development process. So use emulators or connect a physical Android device on your computer to test the functionality and user experience of your app. Ensure that all the features of your website, such as navigation forms and media, are working correctly in the app version. And then, once you're satisfied with the testing and customization, it's time to publish your app to the Google Play Store. You can sign up for the developer account on the Google Play Store and prepare the necessary assets and descriptions and follow the submission process and outline outlined by Google, of course. Be sure that you comply with the stored guidelines and policies to ensure a smooth app submission. So make sure to go and read them all so you'll be aware of everything and will not break in any rules. And of course, make sure to uh, maintain and update your app. So your Wix websites, you will be normally done and now is available on Android app. However, remember that app development is an ongoing process. It's not a one-time process. It's important to monitor user feedback, addresses or address bugs and the release updates to enhance the app performance and user experience. So stay, or stay engaged with your app users and continuously improve your app over time. So simply, as you can see, if you're using this uh, Flutter example, you'll have to go and sell it, set up your editor, test your drive, write your first app, and learn more, of course, from here. So as an example, you'll be able to do a lot of apps using this Flutter or the other two that I told you before about. Then you will be able to transfer your Wix website, as an example, into, your, into an app. And then, as I said before, this follow the instructions that I said, 
which is normally like uh, uh, setting up the dev development environment after you install it, then com convert and customize your app, then test your app, then publish it, then maintain and update your app regularly. And of course, if you're facing any issues, as an example, you can always go and contact their support of Flutter or even Wix websites. Eh, so depending on the, where you have the issue about. Of course, you can go and even get some advices from other people that did the same, maybe on GitHub. So because GitHub, uh, people on GitHub doing this a lot. Of course, maybe in Flutter organization also that's used the same framework like you and as you can see on github you will get a lot of information of other coders if you're not maybe even good at good, good at coding this will help you a lot and even of course chat gpt will help you a lot so you can open a new service example and uh, use open ai uh, or chats you'll have to go sorry chats.openai.com and hit the enter button login into your account if you have an account or if you don't have an account once you have an account simply go and login into us but you don't have an account you'll have to go and create one and that will help you with your decoding if you uh, don't know anything about the coding or you don't have a good knowledge about the coding so example he can write your html code uh cs code or whatever type of language that you want so as an example let's just try and talk to him and write me an html code for my website of three pages one home page one contact me page and one page for let's say for as an example for my socials as an example so socials so hit the enter button and he will write you the code right here once he's done you'll be able to copy the code as you can see so he will finish the code, copy it, and go and use it wherever you want. Of course, he will be able to write any code that you want, not just HTML. So go and choose whatever suits you. And of course, you can even go and ask him to edit some of the code that you didn't like as an example. And he even explains some things here, and you will be normally good to go. So you will normally have to go and install it or copy it, go and use it on your Flutter upload your app and test it and of course make sure to update it depending on the feedback so if you reach this point of this video congratulations you've learned how to convert your wix websites into an android app in 2023 of course by choosing an app development framework customizing your app testing uh, testing it thoroughly and publishing it on google play store you can reach a wider audience and provide an active app experience for your uh, users and of course if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and subscribe for our channels for more helpful tutorials like this one so good luck with your converting your wix websites into an android app and i will see you in the next video